Well, today we have a fairly interesting topic. What will Linux smartphones such as the Librem 5 and Pinephone mean for the end user as well as the wider community and smartphone industry? We're going to be discussing that right now on Linux Lounge. Indeed, today we're going to be talking about Linux phones, such as the Pinephone and Librem 5. However, this isn't a review as I haven't had the chance to try either. Instead, we're talking about what these sorts of devices mean for the end user as well as the wider smartphone industry. Now, I feel like the main thing people are excited for is having a phone running full mobile Linux in their pocket, which is indeed an exciting prospect. It'll mean that the end user can run all of their favorite programs and operating systems across devices. So for example, if the user runs Debian on their desktop, now they can run it on their phone. And it also means the end user can enjoy all the freedoms that Linux offers on a mobile device, which is something that's been significantly lacking in the mobile landscape. The second of those two things being the most important in my eyes. Additionally, the fact that these phones are running Linux will bridge the lack of available software and allow access to a strong library of programs that are admittedly not yet mobile friendly, yet they are still very solid and these programs will be available from day one and then developers can optimize from there. However, I feel that these Linux devices, um, the fact that they are Linux devices should be considered a very small part of what this means to the end user as well as the industry as a whole. The end user will benefit from these devices a lot more than them simply running Linux. Now, I see these phones as being much less Linux phones and much more freedom respecting phones, which is a far, far more exciting idea as pretty much since their exception, uh, inception, smartphones have been locked down, tamper proof and almost appliance like in nature. And this has been something that has only gotten worse with time. In current day, smartphone hardware and software is impossible to modify or even repair in many cases. With a modern smartphone, it's becoming near impossible to change components, even as something as simple as a battery now requires a full disassembly. And even with some devices, a full disassembly is impossible as it can cause irreparable damage to the device. The software side of things isn't much better either. Pretty much since their inception, smartphones have been running one operating system that is not changeable by the user. iPhones have always locked the user into iOS, besides a few hacking attempts to run Android on them, and although most Android devices do support the installation of custom versions of Android through custom ROMs, an increasing number now do not. As a result, the end user is kept out of modifying their own phone in any way whether that be hardware or software, and forced into a software ecosystem by the hardware they're using. If you have an iPhone, you're forced into Apple's ecosystem. If you have an Android device, you're forced into Google's ecosystem, or in some cases, Amazon e uh, Amazon's ecosystem, if you have a Fire tablet. And in most cases, it's impossible to change OS to get away from these ecosystems. Additionally, this locking down of hardware and software causes planned obsolescence. If your battery comes to the end of its life or you simply isn't holding charge, you pretty much have to buy a new phone. You can't simply easily replace the battery. Um, if the company who manufactured your phone decides to stop providing updates, as is all too common, you can't simply move to another OS or update without the company's help. You have to either buy a new phone or struggle using out-of-date software. Compare all of this to the Pinephone and Librem 5. Both of these devices have easily modifiable hardware and software and are far, far more PC-like. Both of these devices have removable and easy to replace batteries, which fights planned obsolescence on the hardware side. But what's far more exciting is that both of these devices were designed to run a plethora of operating systems. Even looking at the Pinephone wiki now, you can see many, many operating systems, and it's not in any way locked down on the software side. If an operating system can boot on either device, it will run. Very few exceptions. 
This means if one operating system stops supporting your device, you can simply move to another and replace the device when you are ready to. And we can hope that only more smartphones will start uh, to do this. Additionally, it's great for user freedom as the user can choose which operating system and which ecosystem they use. Neither the PinePhone nor the Librem 5 is a Linux device per se, only if the user wishes it to be. For example, if a port of Android is made for either device, the user can choose to enter Google's ecosystem and choose to use Google's ecosystem and leave whenever they wish or they can use an open source Linux operating system to avoid a potentially harmful proprietary ecosystem absolutely all together and that's where the PinePhone and Librem 5 really shine the user can choose which software they do and do not use whereas with other smartphones the smartphone dictates what software the user uses mm -hmm.